Well, praise the Lord, everyone. God is good, and His loyal love is everlasting. And this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in, in Him. I want to welcome everyone here this evening to our service, our Passover Seder service. I'm just reminded of a, a Bishop Queen uh, uh, when he was uh, pastoring all these years uh, at Straightway. We used to do the Haggadah service, and he taught us about significant about this time, uh, these divinely appointed times by the Lord. So uh, I want to welcome everyone here. Uh, we will have communion, and uh, we'll take the matzah and the yang right after, so have your, your items available um, right after the message. Let's just have a word of prayer. Prayer is always the word of the day. Glory to God. Heads bow. Barukatai Adonai Elohimu Malak Ahalom. You're blessed, Lord God, because you're your king of the universe, you're sovereign. And we thank you. We praise you. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you for today. We thank you for 2,000 years ago that you died on the tree and rose again. We thank you for your efficacious blood, Lord. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for this great salvation. We thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for your word has already been sanctified. Glory to God. Lord, take it with this clay tongue for your glory. And we say, mighty God is he. We thank you for the word. We give you all the praise and all the glory. Let it enlarge in the hearts of people and let it just, just resonate with everyone listening to the sound of my voice this evening. Let them receive this in faith. We thank you. We praise you. We love you. We congratulate you. We adore you. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. And let the church say amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord, everyone. God is good. And again, his loyal love is everlasting. Uh, I want to spend a little time this evening in a little bit of teaching and certainly uh, some preaching, but really a lot of teaching about this time that we're in right now. It is absolutely awesome. Uh, today, and you just look back 2,000 years ago, what was going on and what the Yeshua did for you and I. Glory to God. We're in a wonderful season at this moment. Glory to God. Passover. Passover. And I believe any time you present the word of Yeshua, it is an honor. It is a privilege not to be taken lightly. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is a Messianic Passover Seder. It actually goes back to this watershed event. But it also shows that the Passover was a type and shadow of a road, like a road sign that pointed to that which was meant to come. Mighty God is he. Amen. It is a privilege. This is a dynamic, significant Passover for the born again believer. It's powerful. I want you to receive this. This is powerful uh, for the born again believer. We've been engrafted into the vine and the lion of the tribe of, of Judah. Glory to God. Amen. And this, the same blessings of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Israel, we have even better covenant today because of the hope of glory presently resides in us in the Holy Ghost. That's why you, you must have water and spirit. Glory to God. Clearly following Yeshua's plan of salvation. He is specific. Uh, he, is, he, is, he has a protocol. Glory to God. How we must be born again. And I tell you this, I always say this, you can't go wrong following Acts 2.38. Glory to God. I, I certainly have been fortunate in, for years in growing up back in uh, the East Coast and, and living out here and kind of living in mostly kind of Jewish communities. Uh, I've seen uh, up close and personal what Passover means to a, a Jewish family. And I also believe, uh, I've been blessed at, at our church um, that I, my wife and my family, we sat in the uh, Bishop Charles C.C. Queen for for almost 20 years, and glory to God, and every year we celebrate the Passover, the Seder meal, and it's, it's so significant, it's so powerful, glory to God, for the born again believer today, glory to God, hallelujah. I want to give you a picture of what Passover was like 3,300 years ago, uh, 2,000 years ago to a Jewish family, and lastly, what it means for you and I living today, April 15, 2022. 
Glory to God. Our text this, this evening comes from the book of Exodus, chapter number 12, verses 1 through 14. A very familiar scripture. And I'm going to read verses 1 through 14 very briefly. And verse number 1. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be to the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month, they shall take to them every man according every man according to his house and their fathers a lamb for the house. And if the house shall be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of souls. Every man according to his eating shall make account for the lamb. Verse number five. Your lamb shall be without blemish. A male of the first year, you shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And you shall keep it until the 14th day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And they that shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts on the upper door, post of the door, wherein they shall eat it. Verse number 8. And they shall eat it, the flesh, and that night roast with fire, and unleavened bread and with bitter herbs. They shall eat it. Eat not it raw, a sodden, at all with water, but roast with fire, his head, his legs, and with his inward parts. And ye shall let nothing remain until the morning, and that which remained until the morning, you shall burn it with fire. And thus you shall eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hands. You shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover, for I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. And the plague shall not come upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Verse number 14. In this day, Still in vogue today. This day shall be unto you for a memorial. You shall keep it a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. You shall keep it a feast in audience, audience forever. Glory to God. Thank you, Father, for your word. Hallelujah. Each family, they took an innocent lamb on the 10th day of the month, but waited until the 14th day to kill it, allowing time to notice this is the father any problems that, that might make the animal unfit for the holy sacrifice the Passover the Seder meal involved the whole family the specific inspection of the lamb was point by point so detailed so closely ex examined the father would pay extremely close attention to the lamb. He'd watch the lamb. Hmm. Study the lamb. Was the lamb ill? Hmm. Was the lamb feeble? It had to be without blemish. If a household was too small to eat the whole lamb in one meal, they would just they would just join another family. Absolutely. No Israelite was to be excluded. We also know this verse in verse number five, the lamb was a male of the first year. Mm -hmm. God meant the Passover lamb sacrifice for the Israelites to be a picture and a type, oh glory, amen, and a shadow of, of the coming death of our Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Glory to God, hallelujah. Our reader, we see in verse number 6 and 7, as we read, it tells the reader that the blood of the Passover lamb was placed on the doorpost mm -hmm. and, and the lentil, uh, reflecting the Lord's provisions for deliverance and for the physical death, amen, as well as the blood of Mashiach, Messiah, Jesus, is the Lord's provisions for our salvation. From spiritual death. Oh, glory to God in the name of Yeshua. He has delivered us from spiritual death. That's separation from God. 
Later in the text, uh, the Lord gives specific instructions for unleavened bread. The bitter herbs remind the people of the, the cruelty, the bondage of, of slavery. They, they had to dress quickly. They had to, they had to dress immediately and, and travel to eat quickly. And as we clearly see that the Lord's commandments were not to make folks comfortable at all. Glory to God. Yeshua was moving quickly mm -hmm. for a miraculous deliverance. You got to think about this. 430 years of bondage. Back bake, baking bondage. No wages, no nothing. Glory to God. All of a sudden, it says, the Lord's moving quickly. Glory to God. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Absolutely not. We know that the first Passover meal was eaten quickly. But now today, the Seder meal, glory to God. If I can just show you the Seder plate right here. It's our Seder plate. Everyone can see this right here. Our Seder plate. These are our elements on our Seder plate. If you're able to see it. Amen. I'm going to put it back down. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Yeshua. But today, the meal is no longer hurried. You might ask why? Deliverance from Egypt has already been done. Verse number 12, and it really it states, pass through the land of Egypt. The name of Hebrew means one who has come from the other side. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, the I wills and the I ams in verses 12 and 13 tells you and I, the reader today, that Elohim did this himself. First person singer. Always look at the grammar. Glory to God. As Bishop Queen would always say. Hallelujah. In short, the Lord instructs us even today to keep this as a memorial and walk with him until he comes. Mighty God is he. Glory to God in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. We know today his blood is washed us as the born again believer. Glory to God. And we know that he can come at any moment. No man knows the day or the hour. But if the apostles thought 2,000 years ago they were at the door, they were close then. All that's going around the world right now, we absolutely have to be at the door. I always say this. Look up continually. Make sure you get your call and your election sure. Glory to God. Because our redemption draweth nigh. Back to my text here. Moreover, the, the feast of, of unleavened bread, it, it commemorates this quick flight from Egypt and how the people were forced to, to take matzah. When I say matzah, it's, it's unleavened bread since they had no time to rise. Normally, it's about 18 minutes for it to rise. Amen. In the removal of the kamats, which is, which is leaven, it's also sin. It's a, it's a symbolic way of, of removing any type of pride or any type of puffiness, glory to God, from our souls in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. In a Jewish family today, this evening, this moment, glory to God, Pesach, known as Passover, begins at sundown with the Seder meal. And before the meal, it begins a, a, a young Hebrew male and, and, and the father. Uh, they'll sit side by side, and the, I'm sure the dad's got his arm around the father, the son, amen. And they, re they recite four questions. Glory to God. About the Haggadah story. Or it retells the story of the, the Exodus. In other words, Shemot, uh, the Exodus and history of Israel's birth. The Passover Haggadah story uh, says that each, oh glory to God, how each generation, man must see himself as if he's personally gone out of Egypt. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. And the question is this. Is posed like this. It's four questions. Why is this night any different from the other nights? For on other nights, we eat either leaven 
or unleavened bread. On this night, we eat only unleavened bread. For on other nights, we eat all kinds of herbs. On this night, we eat bitter herbs. For on other nights, we don't dip even one time. On this night, we dip two times. Glory to God. Hallelujah. For on other nights, we eat either sitting up or reclining. On this night, we recline. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. At the Passover meal, you have matzah. Mm -hmm. Now, it's three pieces of bread. One represents the Kohanim, the priest. The other represents the tribe of Levi. And the other piece of bread represents the entire Jewish people. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Next, you, you have the yine, the wine, and lastly, you have the Seder plate. But I want to look at the Seder meal and how significant it is. As I show it to you again, here is the Seder plate. Here are the elements on the Seder plate here. Be able to see them. Glory to God in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Hallelujah. The Passover, Passover is lamb represents. First we have something, it's called the shank bone. And shank bone, uh, usually today is replaced by maybe a chicken neck. But it, it's not eaten at all. It, it's a reminder that although we approach freedom during the Seder, our ultimate, our ultimate freedom, oh hallelujah, is soon to come with the final redemption. When you look at the egg on the Seder plate, glory to God, the egg symbolizes the festival offering made on Passover in the ancient holy temple. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Here is the egg right here. Bitter herbs we have right here. The bitter herbs represents suffering in Egypt. 430 years of bondage is brought to the table and it's called maror. Next we have the vegetables. Glory to God. In Hebrew it's 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 kapas. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Egypt crushed Israel. They crushed the Jewish people, their spirits. Glory to God. Year after year after year. Never got paid a dime. Back breaking labor. Onions, potatoes, parsley is, is dipped in salt water and eaten so they may taste the tears of anguish. Oh, glory. Next is the fruit. We see the fruit right here. Glory to God. Caroset. We have fruit here. Caroset. Glory to God. It's a mixture of fruits and nuts. As the Hebrew slaves used mortar, it is symbolic of the caroset to, to make bricks and that form structures that were erected to these false deities, these false idols. Glory to God. If you go to Egypt right now, you, you still see some of them standing today. Here we have the romaine lettuce right here. Glory to God. Caroset. It represents Israel's beginning stages of exile. They were pleasant. But soon the injustices of slavery became overwhelming. Glory to God. They, they, they still had that slave mentality in them. And again, they were in bondage for 430 years. So the first taste of, of this mild lettuce uh, uh, was okay, but soon the taste became bitter and the root became to be dominant at that time. But I got some good news for you today. I'm going to say good news. I got some good news for you today. Hallelujah. I want to put some 
flesh and bone on this today for the born again believer. I'm talking about those of us that have embraced the gospel. Uh, were part of the ecclesia, the church, a called out people from a people, been water baptized in Jesus' name, and filled with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Follow God's plan of salvation. Got in some water. Got to the altar. Got, 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 got dipped in the water in the name of Yeshua. How it came up. Hallelujah. And God filled us with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. I got some good news for you today. What it means for a born again believer. This is significant. It is powerful. And if you want to be blessed beyond measure in every area of your life, glory to God, you've got to receive this in faith. Let me put some flesh and bone on this, on this word. What does it mean for you and I today? Hallelujah. We're a called out people from a people, the body of Christ. We know this. Hallelujah. Genosto. We know the Passover is a powerful, wonderful, miraculous event over 3,300 years ago. We saw that 2,000 years ago with the deliverance of Yeshua's people from bondage in, in, in Egypt. But it clearly points to the coming deliverer and Savior from all mankind. He's your daddy. You ought to call him your daddy. I call him my Goel. He's my nearest of the nearest of kin. His name is Yeshua HaMashiach. He is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Passover commemorating Yeshua's deliverance of the Israelites from slavery, from Egypt. But for you and I, it also points to the coming deliverer. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and Savior of all people, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. We know today the New Testament clearly, hallelujah, clearly, absolutely identifies the Passover lamb, the young sacrifice in place of the family's firstborn as a type of the person in the work of Jesus Christ, Yeshua. The Bible says in John, 1 John, John 1, chapter 29, John the baptizer uh, prophetically announced that Jesus was the Lamb of Elohim, of God, who takes away the sins of the world. The Bible also says in 1 Corinthians, the Apostle Paul says this on the wise, 1 Corinthians 5, 7, Paul, formerly known as Saul, wrote that Yeshua, Mashiach, Christ, our Passover, was sacrificed for us. 1 Peter 1, 19, glory to God. Peter identified Mashiach, Jesus, as the Lamb without spot, or without blemish. Let me let me give you a again. This is this is teaching too. I want you to really get this. This is powerful stuff. Let me give you a definition of a type. A type is a divinely ordained correspondence between a person, an event, or institution, or fulfillment. Let's look at the Old Testament. Let's go to these, these, these wonderful 39 books of the Old Testament. Glory to God. The Passover lamb, number one, without blemish. Number two was a male. Number three was young. Number four, it had to be examined four days from selection onto sacrifice. Number five, it had to be slain in public. Number six, none of his bones were broken. Not a single bone was broken. And number seven, its blood on the Israelites' doorpost was a very sign that God would pass over and not destroy the family's firstborn. The Bible says, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. Thank you, Yeshua, Jesus, for your blood. His blood, his hemoglobin is powerful. It's efficacious. Thank you for your blood, Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Some of us shouldn't be here today. Hallelujah. Maybe that gun didn't, that gun jam, it, it didn't go off against you. Uh, you know, what you ingested in your body didn't kill you. And what you took in your body didn't, didn't make you go crazy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That accident, you see, you don't even see that's going on around you. God saved you. It's his blood. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. And thank you for your kindness. But glory to God, Lord, I say thank you for this wonderful plan of salvation. Hallelujah. I want to fast forward. This is good news today. I want to, see, I want to see, show you the fulfillment in the New Testament. Glory to God, hallelujah. Yeshua, Jesus, was sinless and perfect in his humanity. Very, very God, very, very man. 
does not have to let down his deity to become humanity. Where deity and humanity are fused together for redemption of man's kind of soul. Number two was a male. Glory to God, he was somewhere young when he was slain, 33 and a half years old, on this terra firma. Number four, he lived a meticulously, absolutely spotless life without sin. Glory to God. Glory to God. Look at his life. Just examine his life. Spotless. He died publicly. Naked. Unrecognizable. A brutal death. Not one of his bones was broken. Yeshua's blood, Jesus' blood, is the sign of his death, and through his death, we're saved. That's why the born again experience is absolutely imperative. Except a man be born of water and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of spirit is spirit, that which is born of flesh is flesh, you must be born again. You must be born again. That's in fact. Glory to God. I know folks don't want to hear this, but you must be born again. When you take your last breath on this side, in a nanosecond, you want to make sure you've got a favorable landing. Oh, hallelujah. Be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Glory to God. Folks are going into eternity every single moment of today. Over 262,000 people go into eternity every day. Glory to God. Most are going lost. It's our job as under shepherds to use our clay tongues. To, to take this gospel all over the globe. Glory to God. Whatever your sphere of influence is, preach the gospel. The good news. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for saving my soul. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God gave me a chance to get this thing right. And he poured me with, pulling with chorus of love as he's doing, folks, today. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Yeshua. Mm -mm -mm. We have to be a witness in this dying world. Glory to God. We've got to be laborers. Hallelujah. Soldiers in the army of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And don't let me let me tell you something. What you what you say to people can change the trajectory of their life. You have no idea what folks are going through. Yes. No idea. But Lord, Lord, give me a ready word. You want to be so pregnant with the word. That any moment of the time of the day, when the Lord puts someone in, in front of you, hallelujah, you can just say, I'm going to make a withdrawal, hallelujah, I, I, I got a raver for you. And you can speak God's word over their life, hallelujah, and see God move, hallelujah. Let me tell you something, when we speak the word of Yeshua, it is like lightning coming out of our mouth. The Bible said the word goes forth and never returns back void. Mighty God is he, the born again believer. Blood wash, baptized, filled with the Holy Ghost. Life is founded on grace from beginning to end. God does not see you as you are, but he sees you through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. When Yeshua died on the tree, you died with him. Yeshua reckons you to be dead with Jesus. See, reckon means to figure in something, to write it down, to document, to inventory. Although you did not die physically, glory to God, hallelujah. Document your death with Yeshua. Because God, Yeshua, sees you in him when he died. That's why I got, I got something for you. Hold on to your hats. That's why you must have a Passover before you can have a Pentecost. Passover makes you worthy. It makes you fit. A perfect candidate for Pentecost. Passover applies the blood to the doors of your heart. Lord, thank you for your blood. Yes. Thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Thank you for your blood. Hallelujah. Now, the two side ghosts in the top middle of the doorway from, form a, a, like a cross, which is a type of our coming to the cross of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Gaining proper standing with God always requires the death of a substitute. God shed his blood for an innocent, shed the blood of an innocent animal. He clothed Adam and Eve with skins after the fall. In the book of Genesis, chapter number 3, verse number 21, each Israelite household in Egypt killed an innocent lamb. Tens of thousands of lambs were killed 
glory to God, to mark their doors, glory to God, with his blood. Years later, it took the blood of a sinless, innocent man to atone for our sins. And I say, mighty God is he, I say thank you for being the second Adam. Glory to God, hallelujah. Every area, oh, well, glory to God, amen, hallelujah. Every area of your life has been put under the blood of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope you caught that. I'll say it again. I want you to receive it in faith. Every area of your life has been put under mm, the blood of Yeshua. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ has become your atonement. Mm -hmm. he, he brought us back. Amen. Atonement means a covering. He, 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 you put it away or to cancel. Lastly, it also means to reconcile. Make one, uh, make one right with glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you for your atonement. This is significant stuff. A lot of folks ain't teaching this. This is prophetic. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Passover was a type or a picture of the final deliverance that God had promised for the people of Israel and indeed you and I today. When he would offer his own son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, as the ultimate sacrifice. Again, the Bible says, Paul says this on the wise in 1 Corinthians 5 and 7 says, The Passover lamb would take away the sins of the world. The world. The world. Hallelujah. The world. Glory to God. Every woman, every man, in the sound of my voice, listening to us on this live uh, this, this, this stream right now, live right now, only need to apply the blood of this lamb to the doorpost of their heart. Glory to God. And be delivered from bondage of sin and spiritual death. That's, that's second death. That's complete separation from God. That's for eternity. And I say it, I'll say it again. Eternity is way too long to get this thing wrong. You want to get it right. You want to make sure Beyond a shadow of doubt, you got your calling and your election sure. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, I say thank you. I praise you. I give you glory. I give you honor. I magnify your name. I say, I say, in the Hebrew tongue, I say, Kilom Esador. Kilom Esador. Your mercy endure forever. I say, Toda Ata Yeshua. We say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. It's not about us. It's always about Yeshua. You cannot be ashamed of the gospel. No, you can't. You can't be ashamed of the euangelium, the good news. It is the death, the burial, the resurrection, and the ascension of Yeshua. Glory to God. Hallelujah. May God bless you. May, may God keep you. May His face continue to shine upon you and give you peace in everything that He does. Amen. Hallelujah. While we're here, I, if you have your utensils, we're gonna we're gonna do our communion, and I just want to touch on the matzah and the yam for a moment, and then we're gonna partake. See, thank you. The bread represents the body of the Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua. It is. Symbolic of his body that suffered, it bled, died for you and I. We have we take the yarn or the wine, it's symbolic of the blood of Yeshua, Jesus, that was shed for you and I. Once again, the body and the blood. I want to pray over this right now and, and just bow your head in prayer and just and just meditate on, on the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I want to Pray over the, the bread in a moment, and we're going to partake, and then we're going to pray over the yarn, and then we're going to partake. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I just want you to just draw your minds in, 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 into this. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Draw your minds into the body that was sacrificed for you and I. I say, Barukatai Adonai Elohim Malaka Halom. You're blessed the Lord God because you're king in the universe. Eternal Father God, I come before you. This evening, thou sittest high. Glory to God. And looks low. You look low, and we come to re remember Calvary. Father, we are your people. 
that he have drawn with cords of love. And I say, thank you, Father. We are the people who believe in your existency completely. We believe, Lord God, that 2,000 years ago you went from pre-incarnate to incarnate. You became a human so that you could sacrifice your life for us. We believe you are the Mashiach, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. We believe that you are full deity, oh glory to God, as, as well as humanity. We believe that your name is above everything. Hallelujah. We have all of our trust in you. And as Malachi says, let us to know you're watching over us. He by the call right now. Thank you for watching over us right now, Lord. Thank you. Thank you as your under shepherd, one of your ambassadors, your humble servant. I'm thanking you right now for just even listening to me, listening to us. Lord God, hallelujah, thank you. My soul, my soul magnifies you. And I believe, I believe with every, every fiber of my being, you came in the flesh. And I want to thank you, Father. I say, Toda, Ata, Yeshua. Thank you for preparing a body for yourself that you could be sacrificed for our transgression. I'm so glad today, Lord, that you worked a work whereby we have been set free. Thank you, Father. This bread, this matzah, we're about to partake is symbolic of your body that was mistreated, disfigured, and was stripped. You were unrecognizable. Lord, you did it for us. And I want to thank you for your body. Remember it. Hallelujah. Glory, it took place 2,000 years ago today. And the power is still yet in vogue today. Glory to God when you hung on and go God. Thank you for your body. Thank you for walking on this earth 33 and a half years. Thank you for being the miracle worker. My father, my Goel, my redeemer. Thank you for the Holy Ghost raising the dead. Thank you for showing yourself to being the almighty Elohim. Let the people praise you. Be let, let, let we give you a name, glory. And I, I say, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Yes. I bless your name. Your name is above every name. We give your name glory. And we give your name praise. Hallelujah. Thank you for your body, for your suffering. And you never, never said a mumbling word. It was your purpose. It was your plan to redeem us from the hand of the adversary. Hallelujah. Thank you for everlasting life. I want to thank you for eternal life. Your word tells me we have eternal life and that we can believe on the name of the Son of God, Lord Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you. We give your name glory. We give your name honor. Your immaculate name. I want you to take the matzah. Look at this. Hallelujah. How it was broken. Mistreated, disfigured. Glory to God. I want you to look at and think not only retrospect, but introspectively what God has done for you. This is a powerful, significant time. Anything that's going on in your life, in your body, you got to eat this in faith and know that you're healed. For the Bible says, by your stripes, we're healed. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We're healed. Mm -hmm. We're healed. We're healed. We're healed. This will get in your bloodstream in a matter of seconds. Pump it through your heart. We're healed. Past tense. We're healed. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I say, Barukatai, Adonai, Elohimu, Malachahalom. Hallelujah. Hamatzah Lahim, Him Haharitz. You are blessed, the Lord God. You are king of the universe. You bring forth bread from the earth. I want you to eat it all. Eat it all in faith, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yeshua. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. You're a redeemer. Yes. You're my savior. Mm -hmm. 
You're my Goel. You're my nearest of the nearest of kin. And I say thank you for this wonderful Doria, this gift you've given us 2,000 years ago. Thank you for dying on the tree for us, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you for being the second Adam. Thank you, Father, you brought us back. You purchased it with your precious blood. For that, I give you glory and I give you praise. Yes. I want to bless the wine when, before we do the four sips. Glory to God. Bless the wine that is symbolic of, of your blood, Lord. According to your word, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Lord, I thank you. You're the miracle. You came in the flesh. Mm -hmm. You shed your efficacious blood. Glory to God. 2,000 years ago, hallelujah, that has remitted all of our transgressions and brought us into a life, life more abundantly. You cleansed us from all unrighteousness. How precious is your blood. We thank you, Father, for your blood. We give you glory for your blood that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Yes. We stand before you this evening clean. Oh, hallelujah. Set free. Delivered. Because of your blood. We remember. We want to thank you for your precious blood of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Lord, I'm your servant. I worship you. I praise you. I adore you. I congratulate you. I applaud you. Glory to God. I congratulate you. Hallelujah. I thank you. I remember. I read concerning your blood. I want to thank you this evening again for allowing us in the midst of all the chaos in the world. Depression. Man's falling very low. Wars, rumors of war, just this whole economy and the world will lie in wickedness. But you have a people for your name's sake. Because you've never been without a witness. We're here this Friday evening thanking you for your blood. We bless it. Strengthen us until we drink it in your kingdom with you. Glory to God. We're looking forward to, to the catching away of, of the rapture of the church. That word says you are, we are your children. It does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know, Genosco, we know when you shall appear, we shall be like you. We receive you as you are. And we're looking forward to being at that great table. We can all partake of the cup together. But until now, we're going to remember this cup. We're going to go to Exodus 6, 6, and 7 in the book of Exodus. The four cups, hmm, or the four sips, represent the four stages of freedom. According to the book, the book of Exodus 6, 6, and 7, if you have your yain, we're going to do a sip for a verb. I will bring you out. Take a sip. I will deliver you. Take a sip. I will liberate you. Take a sip. I will take you unto me as a people, and I will be your Elohim. I'll be your God. Drink it all in faith in the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's just praise him. Let's just praise him. Let's just praise him. Let's just praise him. Praise Him right where you are. Praise Him right where you are. Glory to God. You could be somewhere else. But you're giving God glory. You're giving God praise. Hallelujah. I hope this evening it, it, it's, it's touched you. Glory. I hope you've learned something. There's so much to learn. We're just scratching the surface. We can never exhaust God's word. But I hope you've been touched with just a little bit of the teaching of, of the significance of, of, of Passover and what it means to you and I as a born-again believer. It is absolutely significant. God has appointed divine times. And glory to God, if you receive this in faith, you will be blessed beyond measure in every single area of your life. Glory to God. God is not a man that should lie. He's not some genie in a bottle. We just love God. We believe Him. 
Hallelujah. And we, rep, we, we represent him. Glory to God. And be confident in God's word. Glory to God. We're a royal priesthood. We're a holy nation. A peculiar person called out of darkness into his marvelous life. We're the apple of our father's eye. And then see, you can call him my Goel. He is, when I say Goel, he's your nearest of the nearest of kin. And I say, Lord, thank you. And I praise you. I give you glory. I give you honor. This coming uh, Sunday, we have Resurrection Sunday service. We'll be live on a regular time at 10 o'clock. Please tune in. I invite someone out. I believe you're going to be blessed with the word of the Lord. Amen. I want to thank you this evening for fellowshipping with us, taking time to fellowship for you on Friday evening. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Everyone repeat after me. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. What I say to one, I say to all. Watch, fast, and pray. Be a great witness for Yeshua. In Jesus' name, amen.